Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol ASRT. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, if you're new to charts and not sure what I mean when I say 30 minute, I do offer a quick explanation video at that link, so go there and I'll explain in detail. Rough moving on this one today with a gap down and all that, but looking at today just individually, you also have to give credit or credits due uh, for the fact that a, a very nice bounce occurred. I mean, I think that at one point the price was all the way down here below 75 and then the price was able to bounce its way back above 80, any rational person would say, yeah, that was definitely a very impressive bounce, but that does now lead to the valid question of, but is there any sort of true power behind this price movement? Is there any sort of genuine strength, or is this just some sort of knee-jerk reaction, dead cat bounce type move? I have no idea, but like I said, by using charts, we can make mapping out that question very straightforward. And in my mind, it all revolves around a single area, and that area is down here at, 77 cents. Why is 77 important? Well, hopefully we can agree on the logic that price movement with true power, with genuine strength, the price is gonna continue on forward. The price is gonna keep on progressing. It's not gonna go back to where it was. So with that in mind, think about 77. If the price were to come down to 77 and then just continue going down, what would that be doing to the price? That would literally be putting the price right back to where it was when it was flirting with those lows. And again, not to insult your intelligence, but price movements that go back to where they were not exactly a sign of true power. Whereas on the flip side of things, let's say the price goes down here, behaves like that, and then begins to work its way back upwards. Now all of a sudden, what would you have? Well, you'd have a set of lows right here. You'd have those lows down there if you envision each one of those as stair steps. Well, hey, now you have stair steps progressing in the upwards direction. And again, that's the name of the game. That's what a truly strong move is gonna do over time. It's gonna make progress forward. And once again, in this situation, quote unquote progress, I'm defining as 77 cents. What about levels of resistance moving forward? Initial level of resistance to watch gonna be right there at the 87 cent mark. So 87 cents initial level, if the price can push up through there, then keep an eye on the purple line there, the 50 pair and moving average. Keyword being moving, I get it, that line's way down, way up there and the price is way down there. But as the week plays out, that line will move itself lower and lower and get more and more relevant. But again, one hurdle at a time, and the price has first got to get up above that red line there. And then you can turn your more of your attention to the, the, the uh, purple 50 pair and moving average. All in all, though, like I said, look, looking at today just individually, very nice bounce occurred. So now it's a question of can the bulls build upon this bounce going forward? Let's see what happens. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I want to invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too, good, way too good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.